What's up nerds on the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Brotato. Now, I just had to play around with my stream deck a little bit, because for some reason, like, my usual buttons were missing, and I was, like, looking at it like, what the... what? And I said, okay, yeah, um, I have two profiles on it. One being default profile, the other one being Cactus. And I was on Cactus, which is the one that I'm using usually. And for some reason, when I went back to the default profile, all my buttons were still there, or were there again. When I went to Cactus, none of it. I don't know why, I don't understand, but whatever. I got my buttons back, I didn't have to do anything too much, but it was just very weird. All right, let's see. Do we go with someone like, I kind of want to go with this one, the multitasker. Plus 20% damage, you can equip up to 12 weapons at a time. But every weapon we get as, or we get, gives us minus 6% damage. So we want to go for the most damage that we can, which means we're going to go with the ghost axe for now. Because if we kill enough enemies, we increase our percentage damage. So even though we lower our damage by equipping more weapons, we still gain more by just killing enemies. So I need to hopefully... Okay, we got plus 1%. That's great. So we should be up to plus 21% damage. 15. Oh yeah, minus 6% because we have the new ability. Okay, um... Or we have a, a weapon. That's that's the thing. I'm gonna go with plus 15 range for now. Freeze in one hit. Huh. That's actually not bad. I technically want more weapons, but I think three in one hit is great and melee damage, but minus 2% crit chance. Also quite alright. I don't have any crit yet, and what I want is just more general damage, I think. And killing a tree in one hit in this game is actually quite useful, because usually they take like two or three, I think. Alright, we gained another percentage in damage. Now oh, damn it, can we kill them all? Yeah. That was way too much damage, I get it. But overall, I think it was worth it with melee damage now we want ooh, the wrench for the turret would actually not be a bad idea or just go for the laser gun i mean multiple wrenches kind of sound like fun like we can equip up to 12 weapons so all right our damage is now only 10 percent because, yes, we increased our damage, but we also got another weapon. So, although we can have 12 weapons, we shouldn't go to 12 weapons. At least, not very soon, I think. Like, my thought process is, if we can increase our damage with level ups with the Ghost Axe. And just increase it to, like, plus 50, plus 60, maybe then getting 10 weapons wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, we could go with just range damage in general. We could go with engineering. Or just attack speed. I think we're gonna go with attack speed. Um, I know what I just said, but I think we're gonna go with a minus 1% damage. It's just 1% less, so I think we should be good. But now we spawn two turrets and we have two axes, which can help us increase our damage faster. Technically. Theoretically. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. Alright, you basically wanna find as many enemies at once and just hit them with the axe. Because I think currently we didn't get any plus percentage oh shit in this in this wave oh my goodness and we almost died no we gained plus one percent because now we're at zero percent damage that kind of that kind of sucks 
go with elemental damage. We don't have anything yet. The question is, I might, like, do we just go with more damage overall because we're gonna lose damage? Nah, we're gonna go with more range because why not? And here we're gonna go with plus 8% damage. Because that... Oh, Scar for more EXP. And we could just go... Sure, coupon for 5% damage reduction. So now we have increased our damage by 8%, which means we can basically really uh, get one more weapon. This is a weird playstyle, but I mean, I, I'm i very curious to see this potato running around with up to 12 guns. Like... Five guns at once or whatever, that sounds fun. Uh, or six guns, that's fun. But 12? Up to 12 guns? Or weapons? I think, oh my, oh wait. Oh, I got an idea for a future run. I got an idea for a future run. Um, plus five harvesting, minus 5% enemies. Interesting, but the thing is we want more enemies technically because we want to... Uh, yeah, sure. We want more enemies. Do I want another wrench? I mean, I kind of do. How much damage do they do currently? Six damage, because it's plus one engineering, I think. Hmm. More tools gives us more engineering. Range damage, melee damage, plus, but minus regeneration. Yeah, let's get that one. I'm gonna lock this for now. Yeah, I, I'm... The thing is, with the wrenches, if we kill something with the wrenches, it doesn't do shit for us. What we want is to kill enemies with the axe. But that's easier said than done. And the more the more weapons you have, the, the harder it is. Okay, I think... I think we might actually want to get, uh, get rid of the axes. Or at least, like... I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. But it feels like the axes are just a bit too weak currently or just don't help us as much as I hoped they would. Oh, achievement unlocked gatherer 4. Nice. Uh, plus 2% lifesteal minus 2 harvesting. Yeah, sure. 4% melee damage is not bad. Screwdriver for la Okay, yep. Screw it. <laughs> We're going. We're going engineer. Because with this one, we can have up to 12 wrenches or screwdrivers. We can just place so many items and so many helpful things on the map. Technically. I'm not sure. I, I think that's... Not the greatest idea, but I mean, the game gives us so much engineering stuff. And the more engineering stuff we have, the more damage our engineering stuff does. So, it sounds fun and I lost a run. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait. Wait a second. Uh, engineering. Increase the power of your structures. Other stats don't affect structures. So, we're gonna... Re oh no, um... No, 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 no. Return to main menu. Start. Start with, where was it again? The multitasker. And I'm gonna start with a wrench. And I'm gonna pick every wrench I see. Because it doesn't matter how much minus damage we have, because the tools or the uh, engineering stuff doesn't work. It doesn't care for bonus damage. And one other thing is just getting 12 lightning shifts. That just sounds so fun for a future for a future run. Okay, let's see. So the wrench deals decent damage, especially since we have plus 20% damage in the beginning. Although we are at plus 14 because of our because it is one weapon. And each weapon gives us a minus 6%. Yeah. 
damage, life steal, speed, max HP. We're gonna go with health. And we're just gonna go with pretty much everything that gives us... Yeah, exactly. Everything that gives us engineering. We're now at plus one. That means our bullets deal six damage. That's not a whole lot. But it's gonna get better over time. <clears throat> because each point in engineering gives us plus one damage. The thing is, in, like, there is this, uh, what's it called, the healing turret or whatever. That one needs, I think, heals us for 10% of our engineering, which means we need over 10 engineering in order to get to gain anything from it. Like, otherwise it's just one health every time. We're gonna go for just more health, and we're gonna go for another wrench. Because... Um, could go for... Oh! Oh! We are gonna go for a pencil. We could go for a shuriken. It has a 39% chance for critical hits, and it bounces up to one time on crits. But I think we don't. Now our... Our turrets do 9 damage. And again, the percentage damage doesn't do shit for the turrets. The turrets only have increased damage due to engineering. That's it. The only thing that would do anything is bonus abilities like every attack can burn the enemy, stuff like that, I think. Or if anything gives your attacks or your shots bounce, that's also that also works for, for the turrets, is what I think I read. 10% ch chance to instantly attract materials when it's dropped, minus life steal. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Uh, we're gonna go for max health again. Melee damage, crit damage, and there's another wrench, a blue one this time. Which means we now have four, uh, four tools, which gives us plus three engineering. And... Wait. Wrench two spawns a turret that shoots flames? Oh! Oh, I wasn't aware of that. That's interesting. Burning activates 15% faster. Minus 12 range. I'm gonna lock that because I think... Like one of our turrets now shoots flames. We got a flamethrower turret. And yeah, the burning is... Activated burning is how often they take tick damage, basically. Like they take one damage every... Or four damage or whatever. They, they take a few damage every so and so many seconds. So if burning, uh, or let's say let's say it's four times a second, and if you can get that up to burning activates like five times a second, six times a second, that's just more damage in a second because it's the same length or the same time amount, whatever. But uh, much faster burning, something like that we go for luck? Luck or magic's HP? I think we're gonna go for luck now. Yeah, burning activates faster. Kind of sounds really, really good. I wanna lock this one. I wanna lock this one. Absolutely. Damage for every speed you have. No, thank you. I don't care for that. And we are already at minus 4% damage, which means our wrenches deal less damage. But that doesn't matter because we deal damage via engineering. I want more wrenches, I want more things. Okay, so technically the four damage that they take for burning activates faster now. I mean it's 15%. It, I, I don't think you can actually like you uh, what's the word? You you actually see the change there with 15%. Although I mean kinda probably. I don't think we're gonna get to it. It's just let's just stay with our turrets. I could. Hey, percent damage doesn't really matter. We're gonna go for luck. Oh my goodness! Another wrench. Another screwdriver. Oh, we didn't have the screwdriver. Oh yeah, I locked both of them last last time. I totally remembered. Another screwdriver. I mean, look at that. That that looks fun. So mines are dealing 17 damage now. 
This one shoots for five times five burning damage. This one shoots for 12 damage. I could combine two of those wrenches. Let's reroll because wrenches are very inexpensive. I could combine two wrenches. Yeah, let's go for that. So now we should have two burning turrets. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That's cool. The thing is, <laughs> that we got the achievement builder. I'm guessing that's when you have six, uh, six, uh, yeah, spawning things, six engineering weapons. So we don't really do too much damage on our own, but we have quite a lot of turrets that do it for us because we are, our wrenches and all are bound to the minus damage that we get from our passive. But the turrets aren't. The turrets just do the damage that they do with engineering. Which means I need more engineering items. Because the bonus in engineering for engineering weapons or whatever they are called only goes up to six. So six different... Ooh. Do we go for that? Sure. No, why not? Oh, another screwdriver. And you know what? The cake, because... Oh no, minus 1% damage. We're now to minus 29% damage. I think I'm still gonna combine two of them. Yeah, we have six engineering tools. Although, I mean, we have a... Okay, that's the mouse. We have a bonus of plus five engineering because we have six engineering tools. Although, we technically have seven, but the bonus only goes up to six. Now, the thing we can get is more precise tools for more crit chance. And I, I think these things work. Piercing, bouncing, explosion. I don't know if they work with... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Where is my... Okay, now everything works again. Uh, I don't know if my turrets can critically hit. I'm not sure. You might be able to. Or whatever. Yeah, so I think right now we can only increase our engineering with items that we find, but not weapons. Because I don't think there is any weapon that says, hey, gain plus, I don't know, X engineering. I think. So yeah, we're gonna just look for more wrenches, more screwdrivers, combine them even more. I'm curious, like the wrench on level one gives you a regular shooting turret. The wrench on level two already gives you a, a burning turret. So I would guess that at level three, it gives us something different again. And I would guess it's probably a rocket launcher thing. Okay, pickup range, harvesting, minus dodge. How much dodge do we have? Zero percent. I mean, we could. Or we go for this. <clears throat> Range damage, attack speed. Here for that. Dodge, chance to deal damage. No, let's reroll one more time. Yeah, something like that. So, any enemies that. Oh, totally forgot about these guys. Any enemies that go near my burning. Towers, I mean, they take damage over time, but not really a whole lot of damage overall. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just need to find more items that give me... That either have some effect that, ha that has to do with burn, like burning does more damage or whatever, or just generally find items that increase my engineering because right now I, it feels like our damage falls off quite fast oh no i'm yeah i'm taking damage oh those charging guys i hate them so much we we're spawning like crazy but it's really it doesn't feel like it's doing too much right now hp recovery from consumables i mean sure plus two engineering yes Plus 20% of your materials at the at the start of a wave. That's great. Uh, most X would be great. I mean, I could go for just other weapons, but they don't really do much. 
more. Let's see. Crit damage. Uh, burning spreads to a nearby enemy. Yeah, sure. Also, let's combine screwdrivers and see what that does. Every nine seconds instead of every, what was it, 12 seconds? Yeah. Let's combine some more because we don't really need... Yeah, we don't really need a whole lot... I mean, I don't know if that was a good idea. Because now we basically spawn less turrets. I was about to say, we don't really need a whole lot of... Uh, of... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, the burning spreads. That's that's great. That, the burning spreading is really great. Because they clump up so much. Yeah, we don't need any melee attacks. Or not too many. Like, yes, we need them to be safe. But they don't really do too much. Because we are just trying to lure the enemy towards our turrets we want to make them burn and we either want more engineering or more just something that gives us more burn since the burn is spreading which is very useful something like hey burning ticks faster does more damage whatever this sounds like a good idea if we can get it because I still don't know everything that's in this game. Because there's quite a lot that you can pick up. Here, get all the material. Which will be increased by 20% after the wave, right? Max HP, damage, plus 5% enemies. Uh, let's recycle that one. Plus 4 engineering, yes please. More engineering, no. Let's go with armor this time. Okay. We want to roll for... Oh, turrets. Spawns a turret. Just like that. That's good. Wrench. Two. Sure. Pick up range. Great. Screwdriver three. A landmine spawns every six seconds. Oh, that's good. And one last reroll. For another wrench. For another turret. Yeah. Look <laughs> at our hands. Look at... Oh, that's a lot. That's good. We just... Dealt, I think the regular turret dealt 20, no, 18. 18 damage. That's not bad. They burn for 6 damage now. So the first attack of the burning turrets, flamethrower turrets, whatever they're called, the first attack deals like 1 damage. But then they take 6 damage. It tick, And it takes, I think it feels like 4 or 5 seconds. Uh, 4 or 5 times a second. Or more than that, not sure. And also it spreads. So as long as they clump up, they just everyone's taking damage. I like that. Now I just need to be safer somehow. I, I'm not really safe with this. And also the landmines, they deal quite a bit of damage as well. Alright, yeah. Things are looking alright. Do they great? No. Give me more engineering, please. Pierce damage. Big damage can't go above base damage. What does that like mean? Now ah, let's take it. 12% damage doesn't matter because we're at minus 38. Attack speed, luck, armor. Let's go for more armor. Plus explosion damage. I don't think I have any explosion stuff, right? I kind of really wanna see what happens if I. If I combine two level two wrenches. Screwdriver two, screwdriver one, wrench one. Now we have 12 weapons. Okay, that's how many wrenches? Three, four, five, six wrenches, six screwdrivers. That means we constantly spawn seven turrets because we also have this turret. Constantly spawn seven turrets and we spawn up to six, um, oh yes, give me that for an upgrade. Up to six mines. Spawns a turret that shoots piercing bullets, dealing 34 damage, 150% of our harvest, uh, not harvest, engineering. That is pretty dang good. I just, oh, we, com we are completely out of money now for material. Okay, so this is the piercing turret. That's dealing decent damage. And it has decent attack speed. It could be better than decent, gotta say. Also, for now, I think 
Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. They, mm, they didn't die as fast as I hoped. That was an interesting run. And we unlocked the engineer. Plus 15 engineering. You start with one wrench. Structures spawn close to each other. All damage modifications are reduced by 50%. Which shouldn't be a problem because engineering just doesn't care for damage modifications, right? So I think next time we're going to do this or get the one that we have, the multitasker with shifts and elemental damage. But anyway, that was an interesting run. It was different than I hoped. It was... Uh, it wasn't as... But it didn't go as far as I hoped. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye.